and it started going quiet. And it wasn't just straight away, it was over a period of months. And he started losing a lot of weight, he wouldn't talk to us, he'd shut himself in his bedroom. We'd ask friends who've got older children that age and they just all say it's his age. So we kind of just left it and didn't think nothing of it. But it got to a point where he literally was as skinny as anything and he just wouldn't talk to us, he wouldn't confide in us and every time we asked him what was wrong he'd say nothing. So we just kind of had to be there for him until he was ready to open up to him whatever was bothering him and the January after school holidays he went in and he told his teacher and then it all came up. At that age it was constantly Xbox and Playstation and I didn't understand half of it myself to be honest with you, I still don't but he'd make up groups to say it was a football group so his son got in that way but then he'd bring other children in from different places and it was kind of this little ring then he'd give him money to buy games online he'd just constantly be talking to him over the, through via a, a, xbox and playstation his phone would constantly ring him at times when i go in his bedroom he had his earphones in and I tell him to turn him off and he said no, it helps him sleep listening to music. When it all came to light, it was actually him that had made my son stay on the phone. The longest phone call was, I think it was 34 hours. That it just made him stay on the phone all day, during school, all night, at tea time, he'd have his earphones in, so he could hear what the family was saying. So if we ever got angry or upset with for a silly thing like not bringing his pots down, um, He'd know, so we kind of use us against him. That's why he wouldn't talk to us all the time, because he kind of had it drilled into him that we're no good. So I'm get away from your parents, it was that controlling. Get away from your parents and come with me, I'll look after you kind of thing. I believed it. He lived quite far away and he used to come and get the train to meet him from school. And then he'd take him on the fields, and that's where it would all happen. Absolutely mortified. It kind of, it kind of put everything together. Why? Because you're aware of it happening to other kids, and you're aware of other people going through it, but you never think it's going to happen to your son. If they go quiet, if they go withdrawn and someone says it's just the rage, dig further. Absolutely, keep an eye on what they're doing on tele, keep an eye on their Xboxes. I mean, we've got all the Xboxes plugged into our phones now, so if anyone messages them, it comes up on our phone what the message says. It's not just outside, it's when they're in the home, in the bedroom, and they've got the phone and their Xbox, that's how people can get through to them. You're more scared of them going out than you are being in your own house where it's safe. But we found that being at home wasn't safe for him at all, that was worse, that's where it was all happening, right under our noses. He's getting there, he's due to finish his last counselling session in a couple of weeks. He's uh, took well, he's in the middle of taking his exams, he's got his prom, he's got a smile back again, when well, we've not seen that for years. <laughs>